Have you ever felt like you were carrying a burden so heavy that it seemed impossible to move forward? Have you ever wondered where to find the energy needed to take the next step when everything around you seems to be falling apart? Beloved brothers and sisters, today we will delve into the true essence of spiritual strength. We will go beyond appearances and discover how to connect with the inexhaustible source of power that comes from God. If you believe that God can transform your life, I invite you to join me in unwavering faith. Together, let us lift our voices in a sincere and powerful prayer, invoking the name that is above all names, Jesus Christ. Allow your heart to open completely to receive the divine blessings that this prayer brings. Visualize for a moment a small vessel sailing in a vast stormy ocean. Huge waves rise threateningly, trying to engulf the boat at any moment. But anchored firmly and guided by a wise and experienced captain, the boat faces the storm without wavering. This is the picture of divine power at work in our lives. It is the strength that sustains us in the most challenging moments, as the word says in 2 Corinthians 12, 9. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Often in our fragility, we seek strength in places that only bring us temporary relief. We rely on our own abilities, seek support from others, or resort to solutions that do not last. But true strength, the kind that never fails, comes from only one source, our Heavenly Father. Today, we will dive into three essential truths about the strength that God offers us and learn how to walk in this divine strength, regardless of the obstacles we face. First, truth. The origin of our strength. Have you ever reflected on where true strength really comes from? Does it lie in our personal determination or in the support we receive from others? My dear ones, the Bible reveals a profound and transformative reality. The strength we need does not come from within ourselves, but flows directly from the heart of God. In Psalm 28, 7 we read, The Lord is my strength and my shield. In Him my heart trusts, and I receive help from Him. This verse reminds us that God is the source of all genuine strength. When we feel helpless and exhausted, He is ready to renew and lift us up. In the midst of chaos and weariness of life, God is the safe haven and the infallible source of energy we need to carry on. He not only gives us strength, but also grants us new vigor, a revitalization that prepares us to face any storm that life may bring. Consider the inspiring story of Samson, narrated in the Book of Judges. Samson was famous for his extraordinary strength, symbolized by his long hair, but in truth, his strength did not reside in his muscles or physical appearance, it emanated from his intimate relationship with God. When Samson relied on his own abilities, he experienced failures and defeats. However, when he cried out to the Lord, he accomplished great feats beyond human comprehension. This spiritual principle is not just an ancient lesson. It is a truth that applies to all of us even today. Often, we believe we must carry the weight of the world on our shoulders, that we must be invincible and strong at all times. However, God calls us to something greater and deeper. He invites us to fully depend on His divine strength, to dive into the inexhaustible well of power that He offers. When we surrender to His will and trust in His strength, we access a power that transcends our limitations, a power capable of transforming weakness into strength. Dear brothers and sisters, have you been striving to be strong on your own? Are you feeling overwhelmed, trying to carry burdens that seem too heavy to bear? Today I invite you to turn to God as the true and only source of strength. Acknowledge your limitations and ask for His divine power. By doing so, you will discover a strength that never runs out, a strength that can overcome any challenge, a strength that will sustain you even in the darkest and most difficult moments. Remember the words of Isaiah 40:31. 31. 
but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. It is in our weakness that God's power manifests most fully and gloriously. Let us embrace this eternal truth and live daily in the transforming power that God offers us. Second principle, the daily renewal of our strength. How can we access and maintain this divine strength in our everyday lives? Is it something that happens once and for all, or is it a continuous process of renewal? My friends, the Word of God teaches us that spiritual strength is renewed day by day. The Apostle Paul, in his letters, offers us a profound view of this process of renewal. In Lamentations 3, 23 we are reminded that the mercies of the Lord are the reason we are not consumed, because His mercies never end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. This passage reveals a powerful truth about the strength that God grants us. It is constantly renewed each new day, just as the sun rises every morning. Think of life as a continuous journey, where we face new challenges daily. The strength we used yesterday may not be sufficient for today's battles. That is why we need to seek God every day, renewing our strength in His presence. God offers us a fountain of grace and power that is always available, but it is up to us to draw near to Him in humility and faith, asking for this daily renewal. When we kneel before God in prayer, when we immerse ourselves in His Word, we are invigorated and empowered to face whatever the day may bring. This practice of daily renewal not only strengthens us, but also brings us closer to God, creating an even deeper and more intimate bond with our Creator. Thus, brothers and sisters, as you wake up each morning, remember to seek this renewal in God. Allow Him to fill your lives with new strength, a strength that will enable you to fully live out the purpose He has for you. By doing this, you will not only be surviving but truly flourishing even in the face of adversity. Reflect on the experience of the Israelites during their journey through the desert. God, in His infinite goodness and providence, sent manna, the bread from heaven, every morning, ensuring that His people had the necessary sustenance for each day However, there was an important condition. They could not gather the manna for the next day, for it would spoil. Instead, they were called to trust in God's daily provision, collecting fresh manna each morning. This image is a powerful metaphor for how we should depend on God for our daily strength. Just as the manna could not be stored from one day to the next, the strength we receive from God today will not be sufficient to face tomorrow's challenges. We need to continuously seek this renewal, recognizing that each new day brings its own battles and therefore requires a new portion of divine strength. Every morning, we are invited to approach God with humility, acknowledging our total dependence on His power. This act of humbling ourselves before God through sincere prayer, true worship, and deep meditation on His Word, renews and strengthens us. This daily renewal not only keeps us spiritually vigorous, but also protects us against the trap of self-sufficiency and pride. It constantly reminds us that our strength does not come from ourselves, but solely from God, who is the source of all life and power. As we incorporate this practice of daily renewal into our lives, something extraordinary begins to happen. Our relationship with God deepens, becoming more intimate and personal. We start to hear His voice more clearly and to discern His direction with greater precision. Dear friends, do you feel exhausted, carrying the weight of a fatigue that seems endless? Are you trying to move forward with the strength that has already been depleted by yesterday's challenges? Today, I invite you to take a step of faith and begin a practice of daily renewal. Set aside a moment each morning to seek the presence of God, asking Him to fill you with a new portion of strength and power. By doing this, 
you will discover an inexhaustible source of energy and vitality that will revitalize not only your bodies, but also your souls and spirits. Remember the comforting words of Lamentations 3, 22 to 23. The mercies of the Lord are the cause of us not being consumed, because His mercies never end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Every new dawn brings with it the renewal of God's mercies and the opportunity to be clothed in His strength, available to us each day. Do not neglect this renewable source of divine power that God places within our reach. Strength in the midst of adversity. Have you ever wondered why God allows us to face challenges in our lives? Can these difficulties really contribute to our strengthening? My friends, the Word of God reveals a deep and transformative truth about the relationship between adversity and spiritual strength. In James 1, 2, 4, we are exhorted. My brothers, consider it pure joy whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. These verses show us that God, in His infinite wisdom, uses trials not to destroy us, but to build and strengthen our spiritual muscles. Just as the process of physical training involves challenges and resistance, the adversities we face in life serve as instruments in God's hands to shape us and make us stronger. Each difficulty is an opportunity for us to exercise our faith, to lean even more on God's strength, and to grow in spiritual maturity. Instead of fleeing from challenges or resenting them, we are called to see each trial as a chance for growth, a moment to trust more deeply in God and allow Him to guide and strengthen us. My dear brothers and sisters, as you face the storms of life, remember that God is with you, using each challenge to build your character, strengthen your faith, and prepare you for great things. Allow these adversities to draw you closer to God, knowing that in His hands, even difficulties can become blessings. Reflect on the process of physical exercise. When we lift weights, we subject our muscles to controlled stress that results in small tears in the muscle fibers. Although this may seem like initial damage, it is during the healing period that true strengthening occurs. As these fibers regenerate, our muscles become stronger and more resilient. Similarly, God, in His infinite wisdom, uses the challenges and trials of life to strengthen our faith. Every difficulty we face is, in fact, a divine opportunity for us to grow spiritually. It is an invitation to trust more fully in God's strength and less in our limited abilities. When we are pushed beyond our limits, that is when we learn to truly lean on the Lord, discovering that His power manifests most fully, precisely in our weaknesses. Consider the story of the Apostle Paul and his thorn in the flesh. Paul, a man of great faith and dedicated service, pleaded with God three times for this affliction to be removed. However, the divine response he received was full of wisdom and purpose. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. 2 Corinthians 12, 9 Through his struggles and pains, Paul learned to boast in his weaknesses, for it was in them that he found his true strength in Christ. He understood that by acknowledging his limitations, he was making room for God's power to operate even more extraordinarily in his life. Thus, the weakness that once seemed an obstacle became a gateway to divine power. My dear brothers and sisters, are you facing difficult circumstances at this moment? Do you feel overwhelmed by the weight of the challenges ahead? Today, I encourage you to look at your trials through God's eyes. See them not as mere obstacles, but as opportunities for deep spiritual growth and for strengthening your faith. When life's struggles seem unbearable, remember that it is precisely in those moments that God's strength is revealed most powerfully. 
By leaning on God's power during your moments of weakness, you will discover a strength you never imagined having, a strength that is not yours but flows directly from the throne of God. Remember the Apostle's words, I can do all things through him who strengthens me, Philippians 4.13. God's strength shines brightest in our weaknesses, illuminating the darkest paths and guiding us with His unwavering light. Let us then embrace our challenges as opportunities for growth in faith. Allow God to use each adversity, each obstacle, as a tool to shape us into His image, making us more like Christ each day. Now, for all who are listening to me, let us go together to the Lord in prayer. I invite you to pray with me so that we can together receive all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, you are the Almighty Lord, the Creator of heaven and earth, and the inexhaustible source of all strength and power. Your wisdom is infinite, and your glory fills all creation. I stand in awe of the beauty and majesty of your works. You are the sustainer of all things, the firm foundation upon which our lives are built, the unshakable rock of our salvation. I praise you, O Lord, for your unchanging love that never fails, for your mercy that is renewed each morning, and for your perfect justice that rules all things with righteousness and goodness. You are my refuge in times of distress, my impenetrable fortress, and my shield against adversity. Lord, I am deeply grateful for your constant presence in my life. Even in my weaknesses, you strengthen me, and for this, I thank you. Thank you for guiding me with your powerful hand through every tribulation, for carrying me in moments of despair, and for filling me with hope in times of uncertainty. Thank you for the gift of life, for the countless blessings you pour upon me, and for the daily provisions that always sustain me. Lord, I acknowledge my failures and imperfections. Forgive me for all the times I tried to walk my own way, trusting in my own strength instead of fully trusting in you. Purify me from all injustice, Lord. Forgive me also for my doubts and my lack of faith. Just as you forgive me, I extend forgiveness to all who have offended me, for I know that in you we are called to live in peace and grace. Loving Father, I come before you now, recognizing my total dependence on you. I know that without your presence and your power, I am weak and vulnerable. Therefore, I cry out for your strength. Fill me with your divine energy, Lord, so that I can face each new day with renewed confidence and courage. When I am weary, refresh my spirit with your unending strength. When discouragement hits me, lift me up with your strong hand, guiding me back to the path of faith and hope. Help me to remember that in my weakness, your power is made perfect, and it is in my most fragile moments that your glory can shine the brightest. In the name of Jesus, I declare that I am strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I rebuke every spirit of weakness, fear, and doubt that tries to dominate me. In the name of Jesus, I bind the lies of the enemy that whisper that I am not capable or that I am not enough. I claim the truth of Scripture over my life. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13 I am strengthened in Christ, and in Him I find victory over every battle. Lord, teach me to seek Your presence and Your strength every day. Help me to start each morning with a heart inclined towards you, seeking fresh manna from heaven. Guide me, Lord, through your word, so that I may be continually renewed in the spirit of my mind, and so that my faith may be strengthened with every step I take. May your strength flow in me, enabling me to serve others with joy and to glorify your name in all that I do. Use the difficulties and challenges I encounter along the way to strengthen my faith, shaping me, and causing me to grow into the image of Christ. Father, I ask that you pour out your rich blessings upon my life. May your grace and favor accompany me in every decision I make. Bless the work of my hands and prosper me in all my ways according to your good will. 
I cry out for healing, Lord, in every area of my life, whether in my body, my emotions, or my spirit. Restore everything that the enemy has tried to steal and make me whole and complete in you. Protect me, Lord, from all the attacks of the enemy. Shield me from every fiery dart, every snare, and every trap set against me. Guard my mind, my heart, and my spirit under your divine protection. I declare with confidence that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Isaiah 54:17. Lord, I ask for these same blessings for my loved ones. Strengthen them in their weaknesses, heal them in their sicknesses, protect them from all evil, and prosper them in all that they do. May your favor surround them like a protective shield, and may they feel your presence in every area of their lives. As I make this prayer along with all those who are listening, I am grateful, Lord, for every heart that now turns to you. We are united in spirit, lifting one another before your throne of grace. Fill us with your strength, O God, so that we may stand firm in faith without wavering. Renew us daily with your power so that we do not grow weary of doing good and may persevere in your work. We claim, in the name of Jesus, victory over every challenge, every obstacle, and every mountain that rises before us. We declare healing for our bodies, our minds, and our spirits. We thank you, Lord, for your protection, which surrounds us like an invincible fortress. May your Holy Spirit empower us to be bold witnesses for Christ, proclaiming with faith and courage your word everywhere. May your will be done on earth and in our lives as it is in heaven. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have been blessed by this prayer, type the word Amen in the comments section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer now rest upon you in the name of Jesus. You can help us reach more people and spread the gospel by sharing this video with a friend or family member and clicking the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Our Father, for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We deeply appreciate all your support. Remember, you are blessed to be a blessing. If you feel it in your heart, consider expressing your gratitude to God by supporting our ministry. You can do this through a donation via Buy Me A Coffee. More information can be found in the first pinned comment of this video. Your contribution helps us continue to share the Word of God and reach more people around the world. Please feel free to leave your prayer requests in the comment section so we can present them before God, seeking His blessings and victory. Other believers on the YouTube platform and around the world will also join us in prayer for you. Stay strong in faith as we pray together. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.